Amsterdam, a city renowned for its picturesque canals, has long had an intimate relationship with water. Founded in the 13th century as a small fishing village, Amsterdam's destiny was forever intertwined with the tides. The early inhabitants built their homes on wooden piles, driven deep into the marshy ground, creating a foundation that could withstand the ever-present threat of inundation. As Amsterdam grew, so did the scale of its water management systems. Canals, initially dug for transportation and trade, evolved into vital arteries for drainage and flood control. The city's iconic canal rings regulated water levels while facilitating the movement of goods and people. The Dutch people developed increasingly sophisticated methods to protect their hard-won land. Dykes' massive earthen walls were erected along the coastline, acting as bulwarks against the encroaching sea. The battle against water shaped not only Amsterdam's physical landscape, but also its character. This spirit of resilience and adaptation continues to define Amsterdam to this day, as it faces the challenges of a changing climate and rising sea levels. The 20th century saw the Dutch embark on some of the most ambitious engineering projects in human history to secure their country from the sea. The devastating North Sea Flood of 1953, which claimed over 1,800 lives, served as a stark reminder of the ever-present danger posed by the sea. In response, the Dutch government implemented the Delta Works, a series of dams, sluices and storm surge barriers designed to protect the Netherlands from future catastrophic floods. The Eastern Scheldt Storm Surge Barrier, a technological marvel, comprises massive movable gates that can be closed to seal off the Eastern Scheldt estuary during severe storms. The Delta Works and the Afsluit Dyke stand as enduring symbols of the Dutch spirit a testament to the power of human ingenuity to overcome even the most daunting of natural challenges. While the Delta Works and the Afsluit Dyke protect Amsterdam from the fury of the North Sea, an intricate network of canals, pumping stations and polders works tirelessly to manage the city's internal water levels. Amsterdam's canals, far from being merely picturesque waterways, serve as crucial components of a complex water management system. Acting as arteries and veins, they collect rainwater runoff and channel it to pumping stations. These pumping stations lift excess water from the canals and discharge it into the surrounding rivers or the E. Jesselmeer, ensuring that the city's water levels remain stable even during periods of heavy rainfall. Beyond the city's borders, polders, tracts of land reclaimed from the sea or lakes, represent another triumph of Dutch ingenuity in water management. This intricate web of canals, pumping stations and polders highlights the Dutch philosophy of living with water rather than fighting it. As climate change accelerates, bringing with it rising sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events, Amsterdam faces new challenges in its ongoing battle with water. The city is embracing innovative solutions, drawing upon its long history of adaptation and resourcefulness to pioneer a new era of sustainable water management. Floating neighborhoods designed to rise and fall with the water level offer a sustainable and resilient approach to urban living in flood-prone areas. Green roofs covered in vegetation are also becoming increasingly common, absorbing rainwater, reducing runoff, and mitigating the urban heat island effect. Amsterdam is investing heavily in upgrading its existing water management infrastructure. The city's approach includes restoring natural water systems, creating more space for rivers to flood naturally, and promoting sustainable urban drainage systems. By embracing innovation, collaboration and a deep respect for the power of nature, Amsterdam continues to write its story, one chapter at a time, in the ever-evolving dance between land and water.